Hi friends, welcome back to Welltech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies. And as usual, I am Vincent. Today we will be concluding the series of welding symbols interpretation. And uh, today we will be discussing about the melt through symbol and back or backing weld symbol. Let us start. Next supplementary symbol is a melt through symbol. This is the melt through symbol. Okay. A semicircle which is filled by a dark color in black. Okay. If it is only a semicircle kind of symbol, then that, that is a different symbol. That is a back weld or backing weld. So, the difference between these two, this is a melt through symbol which is filled with black color. Uh, the melt through symbol shall be used only when complete joint penetration with visible root reinforcement is required. And made from one side only. Okay, whenever there is a CJP, that is complete joint penetration, is required and done by only one side, the melt through symbol should be shown and a reinforcement on the other side should be clearly visible. Let us see how the, it is applied on the job. You can see here. Okay, this is a melt through symbol. Okay, and on arrow side, there is a V groove weld, which means you have to do this weld and the, here a melt through. Melt through size is given here 3 millimeter. So, this 3 millimeter melt through also should be visible. The weld is done from here okay and this melt through reinforcement also should be visible 3 millimeter in size so that is the application of melt through symbol now i am just bringing the back or backing well symbol immediately after melt through symbol because the symbol looks almost identical except for the filling the dark, the black color filling in the melt through symbol, whereas this is hollow. It is only a semicircular kind of symbol. This is actually a weld symbol. And melt through symbol is not a weld symbol, but as a supplementary symbol. Here you can see. Here on the note, as a note, on the tail side, it is given back weld. Back weld, back weld means you have to do this welding after completion of the main welding. Okay, that is the symbol interprets. Okay, the back weld is shown above the reference line. That means other side of the arrow here. Okay, and on the arrow side you got a V groove weld. So, you have to do the V groove weld first, then turn it around and weld this back weld after gouging, cleaning or grinding as mentioned in the WPS. Okay, you have to do the back weld and this is the back weld symbol and this one is backing weld symbol. So, you can ask what is the difference? But you should understand either by looking at this note, it's a backing weld. Backing weld means this weld is the first process, first to be done. The first operation is backing weld. That means here on this side, you have to do the backing weld first, like what we have done here. You have done the backing weld. You must have had the backing plates, backing strips. So instead of backing strips 
for backing plates you are placing a backing weld to support the the max main welding then after that you are completing the main welding from this side okay so you get a support a backing from this backing weld so that is the clear difference between back weld and backing weld back weld is always done after completion of the main welding whereas backing weld is done first then the main welding is completed all right friends that's all for now i'll be coming back with a new topic at the earliest the upcoming videos will be on flush core arc welding tig welding that's gtaw and a video will be on 6gr welding okay until then goodbye thanks for watching see you in the next